you know, one thing for sure that, you know, I predicted this eight months ago, six months ago, as rates started rising, that, that the, the volume is down. Like, you know, there's just not as many houses being sold. When you've got someone that wants to move from their house, like you said, Bill, and it's gonna cost them twice as much for the same exact mortgage, why are they gonna move? We have seen, uh, in my opinion, substantial dips. I mean, the forty, fifty thousand dollar hits, which are in the DC at Metro Market, which are, you know, six, seven, eight percent, that from like six months ago or a year ago. So we've already seen it. Um, is it going to come way down like it did in two thousand eight? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that uh, one, the supply is is like I said, is low. And then two, you've just got too many billions of dollars or trillions of dollars or lots of lots of dollars chasing uh single family so i don't think you're going to ever see because as soon as the prices start going down all the investors are going to start buying up everything yeah absolutely i mean that's that's what everything that we're talking about with other investors is you know how much dry powder are you keeping for all the opportunities that we're going to be scooping up here in the next you know 12 to 18 24 months whatever it is um you know everyone's talking about foreclosures i don't think it's going to be we're not you know they're going to talk about how foreclosures are up 40 percent we're still slightly below pre-pandemic norms so uh it's it's not quite what uh what the media is making it out to be uh but yeah there's there's a lot of opportunities there will be dips because when you have years with 20 percent appreciation which is what what is that is that eight times the norm <laughs> you know yeah like the average you're, you're is going like to three see, and a half you're going to see things taper off um so did, and you said uh brad your market is in the dc metro area yeah we operate in dc metro baltimore metro and we do a little bit in los angeles and uh really 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 tight inventory um there's just not much inventory and you know one thing for sure that you know i predicted this eight months ago six months ago as rates started rising that, that the the volume is down like you know there's just not as many houses being sold when you've got someone that wants to move from their house, like you said, Bill, and it's gonna cost them twice as much for the same exact mortgage, why are they gonna move? They're only gonna move if it's a divorce or a death or they have to move for a job. Otherwise, there's a lot of people every year that move because they're like, okay, I wanna move to this place because it's nicer or whatever, or I, I you know, believe in the politics there more, um, but they're not gonna move now when it's, you know, their interest rate's gonna go from 2.75 to six or six and a half. Yeah, I think you're gonna see, uh, are you seeing more people doing more creative financing like seller financing and and stuff like that i mean we i hear i hear about it a lot i i don't we don't we don't we don't do much of that um but but i i hit and you know I, i'm in the same circles bill as a lot of the investors around the country and that's that's kind of like the hot buzz topic now is creative financing yeah if you can do a subject to um and, and capture those really good rates the, the problem is uh, talking someone into uh letting you take over their mortgage convincing them that you're going to make those payments right. year in year out and the fact yeah. that they still have to qualify for the next mortgage if they're moving to another house and that that makes it tough yeah um, well you, and you've also got these teachers teaching that as long as it cash flows don't 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 worry about the sales price and i'm like hmm um, I do not want to buy a three hundred thousand dollar house. Excuse me, a, a mortgage that, on, that has three hundred thousand dollars on it, and now the house is worth two fifty. I don't. I don't want to be held up with a bunch of product where I'm fifty percent underwater. It's crazy. And then and then you go get fifty of these things, and now the rental market implodes. Who's going to pay the mortgage? These investors right. don't have money escrowed for a year. You know, so it's um. It just like it's just some people portray it as way way more rosier than it actually is.